Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you some essential products that you may want to use for the beginning of your Stampin' journey. Okay, so some of the basic things I think you could use is a black stamp pad, our snips, Stampin' Seal, Stampin' Dimensionals, and note cards and envelopes. These are a few basic items that come in our annual catalog. So these are great products for when you're just starting out, but there's still things that I use every day, even now when I've been stamping for years and years. So let me point out some of the great things about these things. The snips, these are some of the best scissors I have ever used, I'll be honest. They're just a small pair of scissors, but they're great for just cutting little pieces of paper or ribbon. They're incredibly sharp and they come with a little sheath that you can put over it to keep yourself safe. Our new Stampin' Sill, this is a new product that Stampin' Up! carries now. It's an adhesive and it's incredibly strong and it adheres super well. Stampin' Dimensionals, these are a must have for any project. It gives you just that extra um, pop that you need on a card. And those are something literally I use on every project. And the Stampin' Note Cards and Envelopes. These are a three and a half by five size note card and then an envelope that goes with it. It's kind of the perfect um, size for a beginning stamper. So. These are what I kind of consider the basics to the Stampin' world. The other thing I wanted to share with you is this Make Beautiful Things pamphlet that Stampin' Up! has come out with. This is kind of a simple stamping brochure. So if you're not sure where to start and the annual catalog is kind of big, it could be overwhelming, this is a great place to start. So I wanted to show you one stamp set in particular. This stamp set is called Cute Fruit. I think it's adorable. One of my favorites, actually. So the really cool thing about what Stampin' Up! has done in this brochure is they have created this um, bundle that you can purchase of all these things you need to make these cute little simple cards over on, on this page over here. So in this bundle, you get the cute fruit stamp set, a clear D block, whisper white cardstock, and classic Stampin' Spots. You get eight eight Stampin' Spots, so eight different colors, which is great to get your, your hands on multiple colors. So you can purchase all of this as one bundle. It has one code that you can put in, or if, say, you already have a, an acrylic block, or if you already have Whisper White cardstock. You can buy these things individually too to make the card. So you don't have to buy those things again. So I wanted to kind of play with this stamp set and show you a fun card that you could make using this cute fruit set. So much fun. So I wanted to show you, this is what a Stampin' Spot looks like. This is if you, if you chose to order that Classic Spots assortment, this is the size that you would get. This is the size of an actual stamp pad, and this is what I'm going to use because these are what I have for all of my colors. But look at all the fun colors that come if you in the Stampin' Spots if you were to order that assortment. Shaded Spruce, Real Red, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Flirty Flamingo, Daffodil Delight, Coastal Cabana, and Basic Gray. So you've got all the colors in the rainbow there, so you can do pretty much anything with this. So let's get started. I'm going to start with this watermelon. And this is a photopolymer stamp set. So you can, um, that means you can see through the stamp set. It, it's not one of our rubber mounted stamp sets. So these are really fun to use and really easy to use. I'm going to grab some paper here my Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to start with Real Red for my watermelon, and I'm going to stamp down. I'm going to just kind of stamp those all over my page, just like that. And then I'm going to clean off my stamp here. This is another great product to have in your Stampin' Essentials. This is one of our chamois. It's this purple chamois, 
and it's great at cleaning the stamps. We keep ours in one of our stamp cases. You can put it anywhere. You can put it in a DVD case or something else to store it, but we really like to store it in our stamp case. Um, this is another essential that everyone needs. So I'm gonna switch that out. Now I'm gonna do the, the rind of my watermelon. I'm gonna use shaded spruce and just go around the edges of my watermelon, just like that. So simple, so cute. And then I'm gonna clean that. And then I want to put a saying on here I'm gonna grab some more white paper. I'll, I'm gonna use my shaded spruce again for my thing. And I'm gonna use this, your one in a melon. And stamp that down. And then I'm gonna take my snips and I'm just gonna cut this right out. And again, dimensionals, one of my very favorite items. So you can see how these work. I'm just gonna adhere them to the back of my thing. And that'll pop right up. Just like that. Cute little card that you could give to a friend or a family member. So much fun. So let me bring in a few other cards that I've made using this stamp set. Here's one with all the different fruits on there. Wishing you a slice of happiness. This one, I love the cute little smiley faces in here. So cute. And your one in a melon. So fun. So if you're just starting on your Stampin' journey and you're not sh quite sure where to start, make sure to check out these essential items in the catalog or the new um, Make Beautiful Things brochure. If you have any questions, you're welcome to comment below and give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. Thanks so much and we'll see you next week on another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.